Hi, Mr. Russell from Lee Summit North. I want to talk about the book I just finished uh, this morning called Yes, No, Maybe So by Becky Albertalli and Aisha Saeed. This is told from two perspectives. Jamie, a young man. Maya, a young woman. Guess what? It's a romantic comedy. But the thing I like best about this book is, is a romantic comedy with a political bent to it. There is definitely a message of hope and getting out and uh, standing up for something that you believe in, working for a candidate that you can get behind. So the story is this, uh, told in two different perspectives. Jamie has a chapter, Maya has a chapter, so you see things from each character's perspective. Jamie is working for a man running for the state senate in a special election in Georgia. Georgia is traditionally a very red southern state. Uh, the man Jamie is working for is running as a Democrat, so he doesn't stand a great chance, but Jamie is very involved and really wants to help this man win. Maya is a young woman whose best friend is headed off to college. She's not really paying any attention at all to this special election. Uh, she is worried that Sarah, her best friend, is leaving early. They were gonna spend the summer together, now they're barely spending any time at all together. One afternoon, one evening, uh, at Maya's mosque during Ramadan, Jamie and the man running for state senate show up uh, to give a speech. And uh, Maya sort of remembers Jamie, but not really. Jamie remembers Maya much better. They were friends way, way long ago, uh, back when they were kids. Their moms both knew each other. They had Jamie and Maya at about the same time, so the moms would go out and get coffee and talk. And so when Jamie and Maya were between, I don't know, three and seven years old, they were kind of best friends. But of course they fell apart, uh, they, they haven't kept in touch. 10 years later, here they are, and Maya's mom thinks, this is a great idea, Maya, you should go out and knock on doors, canvas neighborhoods with Jamie, because the man running for state senate is kind of the last chance to defeat a very racist bill in the state legislature that would require women who wear hijabs, so Muslim women, not to wear them. They wouldn't be allowed to wear them as uh, an expression of their religious freedom. So Maya becomes very involved because she knows that impacts her mom. The th and of course, they, they develop feelings for each other, they fall in love, your heart goes pitter-pat, it's sweet, it's great. But the, ro the, the thing I like best about this book, as I mentioned, is the political edge to it. Uh, it really brings up the idea that you can get out and support somebody, you can knock on doors, you can stand up for what you believe in, even if you are not old enough to vote in the election, which Jamie and Maya are not at this point. Uh, so a good message of just supporting democracy, uh, even when the odds are not in your favor. And uh, in a time, you know, in 2020, when we're heading into an election season, I think it uh, is, is a great message just to stand up for what you believe in. The book is called Yes, No, Maybe So. It is by Becky Albertalli and Aisha Saeed.